Travel across America with me on a fascinating behind-the-scenes walking tour of Biloxi, Mississippi, as we explore the historic Old World Customs House. The Biloxi City Hall is a must-see architectural wonder that often goes unnoticed. It is often a challenge to locate unique architecture in lesser-known places like Biloxi. Welcome to our exclusive tour of the historic Biloxi Customs House in Mississippi, where Old World Charm meets intriguing tales. Learn about the rich history and architecture of this iconic building and discover hidden gems as I take you on a journey through time. Visitors to Biloxi may have sped past this architectural gem on the way to other famous sites like Jeff Davis's Beauvoir or to have dinner at Mary Mahoney's Old French House, not even knowing what interesting things the structure contains. The highlight of our tour will be getting onto the second floor portico from the courtroom. How did we get there? Do you think I filmed these things on green screen? Um, maybe. <laughs> if you were looking for a behind the scenes look, here you go. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome to Biloxi, Mississippi. We're in the city hall and they have a green screen. Thank you. That's John Rajour, my director. Well, he's not really my director. I'll tell you who he is in a little bit. You'll have to hold on. The city of Biloxi adopted this building as its city hall in 1960, but it was originally built as a combined post office, federal courthouse, and customs house. Very, very common to find post offices and courthouses combined in these massive stone structures across America. Interesting, isn't it? Federal funds for the construction were secured through the efforts of the Biloxi Commercial Club in 1902. And what began in 1905? There were obstacles like inferior materials and of course a hurricane. This is the Gulf Coast and a yellow fever epidemic. Yikes! But the new federal building was dedicated on August 18th, 1908. Eight. That is a recurring year in American history. Architect James Knox Taylor designed the neoclassical revival style building. More than 1,200 tons or over 1,600 cubic feet of marble from Georgia quarries were used in the exterior walls alone. Each stone is attached to the inner brick walls by clamps of galvanized iron incorporated with cement. Great construction, guys. The newspaper called the $125,000 building the Pride of Biloxi and predicted that this massive structure should stand for a thousand years. Curious statement. We found a courthouse that supposedly cost a million dollars over in Nevada the other day. It is a mess. It wouldn't last for a thousand years and it cost a million bucks. You'll have to wait for that video. Back to Biloxi. Hundreds of immigrants swore oath of allegiance and became naturalized American citizens in this building when it housed the United States District Court for the Southern District of Mississippi. I am going to take you in this building behind the scenes. You will never believe where John took us. Don't worry. This whole video isn't about this building. We'll be going to several of the 21 stops in the walking tour of down downtown Biloxi. There's food establishments. Can you smell the Creole? The Cajun food? Can you smell it? And then there's the shrimp boats. Can you smell the shrimp? This is a great city to visit. Spend a weekend. And you know Hurricane Katrina in 2005, with its unprecedented tidal surge, covered the steps of City Hall. It caused severe roof damage. And get this, $852,000 repair and restoration project was undertaken in 2009. And the newly refurbished City Hall was rededicated in June of 2010. Let's go inside. Have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? And if you have, thank you. As we entered the structure, we couldn't find anyone. Oh, yeah, we did find this one girl, and we asked her if we could mill around, and she said yes, as long as we didn't go into any of the offices. We thought, okay, we can do that. So we started going up this beautiful marble staircase. Simply magnificent. And the marble around the windows, incredible. And we found these two portraits, paintings, drawings of the courthouse. That one's kind of interesting. We weren't going in any of the offices and I think we made it to the third floor and you couldn't go any farther. And this man popped out of an office and said, can I help you? Well, it was John Major. He is the city promotions director. I told him, yes, we love old world buildings and this architecture is fabulous. He goes, oh, let me take you on a personal tour. And we're like, this is perfect. He took me to the green screen room because they do publicity shots for the city. So that's 
that's where I got to do the little fun green screen routine that you saw earlier in the video. But he took us into the historic courtroom. Look at this room. Look at the colors and the painting and the curtains. And look at these windows. And this was crazy. John was telling us that if windows were large enough to walk through, you were taxed. And many places to express their wealth made these big windows so that they could show how much money they had. And this courtroom had such windows. And the next thing you know, John is throwing this window open. And yes, we walked through the window just like it was a doorway. And guess where we were? Out on the portico. Who would have thought when we parked the car, looked up at this building and saw all the Mardi Gras decorations. And I was like, I wanna get a picture of this place. Oh, look at that portico up there. And now we are walking through the window and standing out on the very place I wanted to go, up close at this amazing architecture. Corinthian style. Okay, I'm going to enter back into the building through the window. I've never done that before, but can't say never again. Back in the courtroom, and anytime you are close by, I encourage you to take a few moments to stop in at this architectural masterpiece. Tell John that Dana from Unclassic Road Trip sent you. Before I conclude our journey, let's see a few other must-see destinations on this downtown walking tour. This was so exciting. As you know, and I've told you, I love old world architecture. And I love these clocks that are found in cities across America. Look at this structure. Just amazing. Many of the buildings have these medallions on them that read Biloxi Landmark. And it gives the date when it was constructed or founded. And of course, like most cities, you can find cute murals. This one has a lighthouse, magnolias, of course, and a shrimp. Wait till you see the shrimp boats. I'll show you those pretty soon. The downtown area is neat as a pin. This old Crest building is now, um, I think it's like a jazz bar. And I think John told me that it's owned by Morgan Freeman. We walked down this street. It's historic Water Street. There are all kinds of shops and restaurants along the way. And you can see the walking tour signs. This one is number nine. And what is number nine? It's the Creole Cottage, circa 1830. This clapboard frame structure dates to sometime between 1830s and the 1870s. Its importance lies in the use of an early Louisiana folk plan, often referred to as French Creole. Uh, okay, I'm going backwards. Sorry. And number eight, the Henry Slay House, circa 1902. This building has a bracketed overhang across the main facade instead of the typical gallery, which is unusual for Biloxi. Such overhangs are numerous in New Orleans, but this is the only example in Biloxi. We're getting a little architecture lesson here. Hope you're enjoying it. And remember, I do have an architecture playlist if you like this kind of thing. Now, a little history about Biloxi. It was discovered on February 13th, 1699 by the Lemoy brothers, Iberville and Bienville, with their escort of Canadian voyagers. Biloxi, in the language of the Sioux Indians who lived here, means the first people. From 1719 to 1722, Biloxi was the capital of the Great Louisiana Territory, which included all the land north to Canada, east to the Alleghenies, and west to the Rockies. I didn't even know that. Wow, that's impressive. Eight flags have flown over Biloxi, France, Britain, Spain, Republic of Florida, Mississippi Territory, State of Mississippi, Confederate States of America, and United States of America. It's all history, people. It's all interesting to learn about. And then there's Mary Mahoney Memorial Park and the Magnolia Hotel, built by John Hone in 1847. It's operation for a century attests to the Gulf Coast as a resort area. It's really great when these things are taken care of, but oftentimes these hurricanes blast these places and they're lost forever. Mary Mahoney's old French house built in 1737. We walked towards the waterfront and found this sign. Welcome to Biloxi, Rue Magnolia bus stop. And here's the Hard Rock Cafe and guitarist might enjoy seeing this guitar lit up during the day and at night. We walked over 
over to the coast to see the shrimp boats and get a view of the Gulf Coast. But we need to get back to the parking lot to get to our car to keep going because we have to get back to New Orleans tonight. And we're all the way over in Biloxi. John told us that we really needed to go see this house. It's Casa Española, 17. 80. It's stop four on the walking tour, and it's the Shearer House, also known as the Old Spanish House. The guide says circa 1840. Imagine that discrepancies in dates. The house is unusual in that it is a two-storied antebellum brick structure with early stucco being scored to resemble ashlar masonry. The bay front doors and windows in central two bays have become standard features for local vernacular home types. And this tile mural of sorts is stop 21. It's the Biloxi Tricentennial Mosaic, circa 1999. And it is a lasting tribute to Biloxi's Tricentennial celebration. And now we're back to the greens across from City Hall, and where our car is parked. Half hour parking. No, we didn't park there. We didn't park there. We parked in the free parking in a lot that it doesn't matter how long you stay. Let's look out over the bay and this beautiful Gulf Coast on this magnificent day. Please tell a friend about my channel. Help me grow this thing. Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. I hope you're enjoying traveling across America with me. And don't forget to like and share this video to spread the charm of Biloxi. Subscribe for more intriguing tours and share your thoughts in the comments below.